Transportation's website. All right, let's get another check on our weather with Dave Aguilera. Hey there. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Take a look outside. We are completely socked in with clouds out there. 48 degrees downtown. Not bad. This afternoon, here's the breakdown now for us. Mostly cloudy. Rain will develop probably after about 3 o'clock, turning over to kind of a rain-snow mix. There's a chance of about a trace to an inch of snow around uh, the city. Temperatures right now up and down the front range. Pretty uniform. Mid to upper 40s from Cass Rock all the way up to Fort Collins right now. Larry Geo can brush our weather watcher there coming in with 44 degrees. Now our current temperatures statewide as we uh, take a look for you. We are it's cold down in mind, but 37 degrees. It's 21 in Gunnison, 36 in Nucla out there on the western slope. And they're watching some moisture come into their uh, city as is Grand Junction and a lot of the mountain condition. Can already picking up some snow out there here we've got a little break where there's a little bit of sun here and there but partly sunny skies many more clouds than sunshine and from time to time we see a little bit of moisture drift over out of the foothills going into Greeley and Briggsdale they've already seen just kind of a, a flurry or two going through there not very very heavy or very strong at all cold front now is just beginning to move out of Utah moving into the state and that's where our moisture is coming from this afternoon so you see that Right over Denver and northeastern Colorado, just a little shot rain mixed with snow. Not going to be real heavy. I think we'll get accumulation back here in the northeast as it moves over the Denver metro area to kind of energize out across the eastern plains. So we could get some accumulation out there before it moves out tonight into a partly cloudy Saturday. So about one to four inches of snow in some of the mountains, but you see those deep dark areas a little bit more in some of those spots. And for Denver, east of I-25, we could have a half inch to an inch accumulate in some areas and more like one to three as you push out over the northeastern plains. The only advisory we have is until 11 p.m. tonight for the mountains around Steamboat, where we could see six to 10 inches of snow up that way. So high temperatures stay across the state, 40s, 50s here in the east, 30s and 20s in the mountains. The super seven day forecast, 47 degrees today. We're at that zone already, so we're probably going to cool down after that. 46 tomorrow, a little bit cooler, breezy, windy on Sunday and 53 degrees on Sunday. We have to be concerned with the fire danger on uh, Sunday because the wind's going to be so strong. It'll be windy in the mountains as well. And then looking ahead, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we do have small chances of seeing some light snow, 10 to 20% chance each day. But you can see it's an overall cooling trend that lasts for most of the week. And then we finally break out of it by Friday getting out of that uh, zone out there. So this afternoon, it's going to be interesting because the yeah. moisture's coming in right at the afternoon drive time. Mm -hmm. I think we'll have wet roads in some spots, but I don't think it's going to really stick to the roads and make things too so bad. So not be too bad yeah, for the evening so. commute. That's okay. why we didn't make it a first alert weather day and sure. turn everything red and that type of thing. I know. It's going to be I light know. stuff. We're glad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We're happy. We want to ease into the weekend on <laughs> well, a nice Friday. All right, sure. Dave, thank you. you. Well, don't forget you'll find your first alert for